for two weeks, two weeks. And it's been the most incredible and eye-opening experience of my whole life. So I'm going to make this video so I can remember what I saw and how I felt. And if anyone is keen to see, I'm sharing it with you. Um, so I first went to Tokyo, it was very crazy. Loads of people, everyone walking everywhere. Everything's different, lots of colors, sounds, everything so different, like a completely different planet. Um, I didn't like it at first. I will be there for you when your feet touch the ground. And I'll clear the earth for you if you need the stars to dream. And I'll make a flame for you to keep your spirit clean. And my angel. Mystery angel, my angel, my mystery angel. Then I went to Kyoto, the old city, the old capital, which was beautiful. I enjoyed it very much. Um, besides the fact that some temples were just absolutely full of people and everyone taking selfies and pictures and people pushing each other and yeah, so interesting places attract too many crowds.
then I went to Tanabe, a very small town, not much. <coughs> and I started my biggest adventure, so I did some part of Kumano Koda track, which is a, um, a pilgrim route, so something like Camila de Santiago in the Iberian Peninsula. Um, and that was the highlight of my whole trip, that is insane. I, I just, yeah, insane. So, insane. <clears throat> Literally in the middle of nowhere in Japan. It's amazing. There's absolutely nobody. I'm reading a book there. It's warm and there's nobody. Perfect. Hi. So I d <coughs> Sorry. I did not plan this, but I am the only guest in this big big beautiful japanese style i think it's eight years old the owner told me house so yes i'm the only guest and the only person actually staying here tonight so i've got the entire house for myself and it's pretty cool i suppose i didn't plan it this way but it is what it is hi <coughs> i'm starting my manokora experience there's not much here. My backpack. I have a backpack. Me and the road. Breathe, breathe in the air. Set your intention. Getting a little bit tired, but it's okay. It's cool. Starting my track right here. Good luck, Agla. It's definitely a hike with a view. Yeah. Oh, God. Be careful, babe. Apart from many lizards and the local Japanese man told me that they have snakes here but so far so good so far so good yes the first snake oh my god it was just here and then it went somewhere here I saw the first snake of my life just to update you I saw a snake it was this big and on my way, and I got absolutely terrified. Tomorrow's a new day. God help. Everyone. Help. Brand it's never ending. I finally reached some sort of civilization. So, um, see rice fields, people growing vegetables, some houses, and most importantly, a normal path to walk on incredible I must admit I'm getting a little bit tired probably not looking my best either but I'm really having the time of my life so so far so good people I've just got this beautiful cafe ule from a vending machine literally there in the middle of nowhere this is a bamboo forest by the way a small one this is going to be the best cafe au lait I've had in my life. Hi! I'm very happy I've reached the Hongo Taisha. It was the goal of this hike and it's incredible. I'm very happy. Good morning! It's a new day and I found a bamboo forest! Woo! I'm on my way to Nachi Falls and Nachi Taisha and I have to take this road and it's amazing so some of those trees are like 800 years old and the atmosphere is just incredible and I have to take this old old stone paved path to the location which I actually probably was looking forward to the most so I'm very excited
much as I wanted to but uh, it's just because I realized that with shoes like this and backpack like this and another backpack like that it's just not very practical is it not very much so not very much so so maybe I'll come back later and have less stuff when I'm stronger that was amazing very much amazing like Monaco And then, after that, I went to this very small town, I say, I, I probably got to know Japan better, but it wasn't very special at all.